What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, we'll talk about how to do a setter dump, and this video was suggested by Hunter Spot. So thank you so much for this video suggestion. When a setter dumps the ball, that means the setter is attacking the ball on the second contact with their front row, most likely sending it over with one hand. I'll talk about two aspects of the setter dump in this video. The first one is the how, and the second one is why. The first thing you need to learn is how to jump set. And you can watch that video by clicking on the link up here. The reason why you need to first learn how to jump set, because that puts you in a position to attack the ball above the net, or at least near the top of the net, which will make it a lot easier to successfully attack the ball as a setter. Deception is the most important aspect of successfully dumping the ball as a setter. If you compare a setter dump and a spike attack and think about which one stays in the air longer, it's obvious that the spike hits the floor a lot faster than a setter dump. Sometimes a setter dump can stay in the air for about two seconds, whereas a spike will hit the floor in about half a second. So how is it that the setter dump can still hit the floor even though it stays in the air up to three to four times longer compared to a spike. And the key is deception. The longer you keep your hands up to trick the blockers into thinking that you're going to set the ball, the easier it is for you to be able to get a kill when you dump the ball because the defenders are expecting you to set an attacker, not send the ball over on the second contact. In order to be deceptive, try to jump set majority of the time, whether you're front row or back row. That will make it difficult for the other team to tell whether you're going to be jumping to set the ball or jumping to attack the ball. Now we'll talk about the actual technique of dumping the ball. Like I mentioned before, make sure that you have your hands up in the setting position as long as you can for deception. So first you'll start in your setting position. There are two ways to dump the ball. The first way, which is also the most common way, is to dump the ball with your left hand. The second way is to dump the ball with your right hand. When you dump the ball with your left hand, make sure that you let the ball reach your left ear first before attacking the ball with your left hand. If you try to attack the ball before the ball reaches your left ear, three things could happen. You could end up lifting the ball because it's further away from you. You won't have as much power and control when you follow through over the net. And it'll take longer for the ball to travel from here to the other side, which gives the defenders more time to react to the ball. Once the ball reaches your left ear, you're going to turn your hand and have your palm face the direction that you want to dump the ball. Then I contact the ball with the pads of my fingers and I follow through in the direction that I want to dump. If I want the ball to go downward on my dump, I make sure that my fingers are contacting on top of the ball and I snap my wrist and follow through downward. If I want the ball to be going flat across the net, then I contact the ball behind 
and I follow through flat and across my body. Now we'll talk about how to dump with your right hand. In order to dump the ball with your right hand, you need to let the ball reach your right ear. If I try to dump the ball before it reaches my right ear, then I end up reaching away from me and it puts my body in an awkward position where I'll have trouble controlling the ball and the defenders will see a lot earlier what I'm trying to do. It's a lot more natural for you to reach for the ball in this plane than here. the ball is to the net will also help me determine which hand I should use for which situations. When the ball is a little bit further away from the net, it's a lot better for me to use my left hand because I can fall through across and it's more natural. If the ball is tighter to the net, when the pass is closer to the net, it's better to use your right hand because the right hand will be closer to the ball compared to your left arm having to reach here. You can still attack the ball with your left hand if the pass is very tight to the net, but it's not going to be as deceptive as dumping behind with your right hand. The next topic we'll talk about is why. There are three reasons why a setter will dump the ball. If I'm a front row setter and I see that the left front blocker on the other team is not jumping with me when I'm jump setting, then that's a great opportunity to send the ball over. If you know that the left back and right back defenders on the other team are very slow, then that's also a good time to send the ball over on two right in the middle of the court. The second reason is to save the ball. Sometimes if the ball is passed too high and close to the net, you could jump and save the ball by sending it over on the second contact before the blockers on the other side block it back down. Even when you're just trying to save the ball, you still want to try to place it in a tough spot on the court to put the other team out of system and make it easier on your defense when they do send the ball back over. The third reason is to mix up the offensive rhythm of your team. Sometimes it's good to throw in one or two dumps when you're the front row just to remind the defense on the other side that they have to keep track of you as well as the other hitters. Or if your hitters are struggling to score points, it's a good idea to send one or two dumps over to give your hitters a break and to break everybody's offensive rhythm and give people a fresh start. There are a few common mistakes that setters usually make when they're trying to attack the ball on the second contact. The first one is that they show the attack too early. 
When they jump up in the air, their left arm is already up and they're showing very early that they're going to dump the ball, which makes it a lot easier for the defenders and blockers on the other team because they see exactly what you're doing before it actually happens. The second mistake is that setters will dump the ball only when they jump set or only when the pass is tight. Your goal as a setter is to be deceptive, so either jump set majority of the time or try to set the ball when the pass is very tight so that the other team won't always know what you're doing even when the pass is tight to the net. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and share it with all of your volleyball friends and teammates who are trying to learn how to set or dump. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel where I'll be releasing weekly volleyball tutorial videos just like this one. If you have any other suggestions regarding volleyball, athletic training, or fitness, please make sure that you search through my YouTube channel before providing a video suggestion. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.